In day three of the Dixie Villa manslaughter trial, the defense used visual aids to try to discredit the prosecutor's claims. Villa is accused of giving a deadly dose of medicine to an infant she was babysitting seven years ago. Stephen Florino has more. Dr. Paul Aiken specializes in pediatric emergency medicine. He testified for prosecutors about diphenhydramine, an antihistamine and main ingredient in Benadryl. Aiken said it would take a massive number of doses to create the amount of the drug found in seven-month-old Abigail Lobish's blood. So I think if you know if someone just does simple math, to, so to reach that level of 2,400 nanograms per ml, you'd have to take a dose of 30 to 40, I believe, would be the calculation. Dixie Villa on trial for, for Lobish's death. Villa's attorney, Megan Cow, took the opportunity to show the jury what 30 times the normal dosage looks like. She compared it to four ounces of milk, a typical amount for a baby. You don't need a prescription for diphenhydramine, correct? Correct. In other words, anybody can walk into a Walgreens or Long's and buy diphenhydramine, yes? Yes. So you haven't reviewed any records in this case regarding Abigail Lobish. Is that accurate? No. So you cannot tell us what the highest level of diphenhydramine in her system was at any time, correct? Correct. A forensic toxicologist testified for the defense, questioning the methods of the forensic pathologist who conducted the autopsy. In this case, the blood drug levels found in baby Abigail, based on the science that both Dr. Gates and I agree on has a huge unreliability and will read far, can read far higher than the blood in the preferred samples. Trial could wrap up as early as Wednesday via not expected to testify. Stephen Florino, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.